but I don't use it that way. Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a review on the Binksy Baby shopping cart hammock. The next few clips that you see is going to be a close up first and then a clip of what it looks like on an actual shopping cart. This is the Binksy Baby shopping cart hammock. I got it from Amazon. I think it was around $40. I can't really remember how much I paid for it. Um, but I'll link it down below. That way you're able to click on it. The price of it always changes. Here's what it looks like on the label, Binksy Baby. On the inside, of course, it has a warning label. Like anything in life, it has a warning label. Pretty much tells you just to make sure you always fasten your child securely. Don't leave or leave them unattended. You know, pretty much follow the instructions and don't do anything you're not supposed to do. On each side, I don't know if you can see it, but there's these little stretchy portions on that. On each side, it helps it to be able to stretch. This little gray part right here is the part that attaches onto each side of the buggy. There's one on each side. Um, but it's pretty stretchy and it's able to stretch across a buggy pretty well. The inside here is where you attach your baby. Um, once you get the hammock on, you are supposed to use this white part right here, this white strap and strap it more secure to the buggy so that it doesn't accidentally slide off somehow or slide around on the buggy. This strap right here is actually for a car seat. I don't use this portion of it. You're actually supposed to be able to stick a car seat on the inside of this once it's on the buggy. However, I do not use that portion and I don't like that function of it. I've seen a lot of people use it that way. I personally don't like it. The reason I bought this was so I don't have to use a car seat. Um, here it just shows that it's the car seat attachment strap and that you can strap the car seat in it. This does have a 50 pound weight limit that includes the car seat. So your baby in car seat has to be under 50 pounds. I don't use the car seat portion of it and I can use it all the way up until my baby is sitting up straight um, because it says that you can use it until your baby starts sitting up. Um, it's easy to fold up, easy to carry. You can throw it in a car, in a diaper bag, wherever you want to put it. It just folds up real easy, rolls up. You can just cram it into the littlest spaces. It doesn't take up much room. buggies are bigger so you can't put it up to the front it stretches it too far
as you can see, there's nothing around him obstructing his view, so he's able to see things better than he could when he was in a car seat, and he enjoys it so much better. Um, and then another thing as well, there's nothing obstructing my view, so I'm able to see over the shopping cart, and I'm able to see him to see what's going on with him. So that's another thing that's also my favorite about this baby cart hammock. You can see underneath him there's room to put things so it's not taking up the entire buggy space. You can still fill your entire shopping cart and get the things that you need without having to sacrifice the space of your shopping cart. Okay, so now we're at Walmart and Connor's cranky because we had to take him out of the shopping cart hammock and put him back in his car seat to go to Walmart. He absolutely hates having to leave the shopping cart hammock. That's how much he loves it. So once we take him out of it and put him in the car seat, he immediately starts crying because he loves it so much. Um, so in these clips, I've decided to show you how to put the shopping cart hammock on with just one hand, how easy it is. I wanted to hold him because he was upset and I hate when he's upset and didn't want to leave him in the car crying. So here's me putting it on with one hand to show you how easy it is to put on with one hand. Hope you enjoyed my review on the Binks Baby Shopping Cart Hammock. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.